Welcome back. So I had a lot of requests on the cylinder and square video for more filaments and a little bit more details on how they measured up. And so that's what I'm going to do today. Both the cylinder and square are exactly one inch squared, as you can see from the slicer. They're all printed at 0.32 layer height and 20% infill. Each of the different types of filament, of course, are sliced with those profiles. First up, we have the PLA that I printed in the silver. I reset the calipers to be at exactly zero. Starting with the cylinder and measuring from top to bottom. We're a little bit over an inch, about an inch .004. And that stays pretty consistent as I roll it around, that it's still a little bit over one inch. When I flip to the side, I started in the middle and it's a little under an inch, but I, I went ahead and moved it up to the front and it's just right at one inch. But of course, as I move it down, it does seem like the wall's kind of caved in a little bit. They're a little under an inch. On to the PLA cube, I measure from side to side. And we're a little under an inch, about 0.99 or so. Same when I do it from this side. Seems like a lot of it. Oh, as soon as I get right to the front, I'm right at one inch. But it does cave in as well. It's easier to see the layer lines on the squares on the cubes. You get a little bit of light reflection on it, and even at 0.32, I feel like the layers look pretty smooth. The second set is TPU, and starting with the cylinder, we also, from top to bottom, are just a little bit over one inch, about one inch, 0.0025 or so. When I flip to the side, I'm able to, of course, it caves in a little bit, 0.9, a little under an inch. And this one, I'm not really able to get it all the way to an inch, even all the way at the front. It seems like it's just a hair under. As thick as this is, it's kind of difficult to get it to flex, but it does, you can see that it does cave a little bit on the sides when I, when I push it in. The sides look pretty smooth, and even top and bottom looked pretty good. I, of course, did the textured sheet with the TPU to get it to remove easier. Next is the TPU cube, and from top to bottom, I'm right at one inch, but it does go a little bit over as I move it around a little bit. It is tricky to measure this because it does flex, but I am trying to not push it too much. The sides are caved in a little bit. We're under an inch on those, about 0.995 or so. But it did print pretty well, and the top and bottom look great as well. You can see how smooth it is on the top and along the sides you don't see any gaps or anything like that the bottom looks great as well you can see that textured sheet and then the last set is the PETG we'll start with the cylinder has all the other ones from top to bottom we're a little bit over an inch about an inch and 0 0.15 or so and like the others when I flip it to the side it's under an inch about 0 0.09 or so depending on exactly where I get it. The top looks pretty good on the PETG, but for some reason the bottom looks terrible. It did not print smooth. I did use the textured sheet. It's really tricky to get it on camera, but it, it doesn't look good. You can actually see the layer lines. It almost looks like it was printed too high on the Z. I printed it again, and the second one looks the exact same. For some reason on the cylinder, that's how it printed. And then last on the cube for the PETG from side to side were under 0.9 and right at one inch when I catch the front edge or the top edge. But most of it is under an inch. I measured this one backwards from top to bottom. This one's a little over one inch, about an inch 0.04, depending on exactly where I'm at. But the cube PETG prints really good on the top and the bottom. You can see the layer lines on the side and the bottom printed really smooth on the textured sheet. I hope this helps. I tried to do some bright, harsh overhead light so you can see the layer lines. 
all three of these filaments printed pretty well, except the TPU was really hard to load. With this Bowden tube, it is trickier than you think with this flexible filament to get it to load all the way through all of it. I did do a sharp edge, tried to help it move as easily as possible. I had a hard time even getting it through the first filament sensor. Once I got past that, it was easier, but it's just tricky how bouncy and flexible it is to get it all the way through. Even with me speeding it up, it still feels like it took forever. And then once I got it in as far as I could, the sensor did not notice that it was there. I'm not very patient, so I went ahead and unscrewed the other end of the Bowden tube. It's odd when I pull this out, it looks like it should have noticed this filament, but I go ahead and just pull it through a little bit more until the sensor finally catches. That beep is a good thing, so I'm able to get it to load. You can see here it finally catches and starts pulling it in. And at this point I'm able to just go ahead and reattach the Bowden tube. I'm pretty much just keeping it hand tightened at this point. It does take a couple of purges for it to completely clear out, but you can see it does go. So I would say yes, you can print in TPU. It's a little bit trickier to get it to load. I would probably plan to just do TPU and knock out as many prints as you can all in a row, but it is doable. Thanks for watching.